Hi, this is Courtney Pavletic with EMP Technical Group. And today I just want to walk you through how to download the latest Cognix Insight software as well as unlocking their emulator so you're able to work with some files offline without being connected to a camera. So the first thing we're going to do is just go to Cognix's website, which is Cognix.com. And then under Support and Insight Support, you're going to click on the Software and Firmware. This is going to have all the latest software that's available for the Insight. If you scroll down, the first one you'll see of the actual software is Insight Explorer 5.6.0. Go ahead and click on that. Scroll down and you'll see the download button available. You'll go ahead and click on this. I do already have the software downloaded to my computer, so I'm just going to minimize this and open the shortcut here that will also appear on your desktop once you have the software downloaded. It takes just a second to open, so we'll wait for that here. Once it opens, you should see something similar to my screen here. This is called the Easy Builder software. And the first thing we'll do is go to System, Options, and on the left you'll see Emulation. Go ahead and click on that. There'll be a couple things in here, one of them being the model. This is where you can select what model of camera you'd like to emulate on here. It's currently selected as standard, but if you have a higher resolution camera that you would like to look at your images on, you can also select that as well too. We'll just stick with standard for now. When you open this, you will not have the offline programming key filled in. This is what we need to obtain from the Cognix website. So what we'll do is we'll take this offline programming reference key and copy it Go back to the website itself, go back to support, and click on Insight Support. On the left, as you scroll down, you'll see Insight Emulator Key. Go ahead and click on this. We've already, already followed step one and step two. So the third step is to go ahead and enter your company name. As well as your offline programming reference. I went ahead and pasted that in there and hit get key. It should give you back your offline programming key. Go ahead and copy this, go back into your software and paste it where you have the blank. Once you've completed this, go ahead and click OK and you should see your emulator pop in over here and it will allow you to connect to this. So simply hit connect and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe.